Okay, so this is part one of the 21 game project. Um, 21 is kind of like blackjack, uh, where a player is dealt two cards, and they want to get uh, the sum of those cards. They want to be as close as possible to 21 without going over. And if they go over 21, uh, they lose. If they don't go over 21, then the dealer plays, and then you're playing against the dealer, and the dealer wants to get cards up to, but not higher than 21, and so forth. And the player with the highest sum at that point wins. So today we're just going to deal with, this is part one, we're just going to deal with the player's hand. And uh, we're going to be generating some random numbers, so I, I brought in these this time.h and stdlib.h along with my io stream and i just put a a uh, c generator here s ran time null so we don't get the same numbers every time and like i said today the the player uh we're just going to deal with the player's hand to begin with the player is going to get two cards and we're going to sum up the value of those two cards now, now in the real game you have uh two through ace and ace can be a one or 11 we're just going to deal with uh, uh cards that are valued one to ten just to make it a little easier um so let's do that let's just deal with one hand uh of the player let's start with the a couple things that we need um we're, we're going to need the player's bank how much money he or she has and i think they're starting with a hundred is what it said so I'm just going to deal with uh, integers for this. So in bank, and we'll say equals $100. Um, the player is going to be given chances to hit or stand. Um, after the player gets dealt two cards and it's summed up, he can either, uh, if he's comfortable with that number, for example, if he gets 17 or 18, he may not want to get another card because it's risky to go over 21. Um but if he gets a low number, you know, like 5 or 8, whatever, 12, he or she might want to um, hit, which means get another card added to that sum. And uh, you're risking going over 21. But you can do that as much as you want until you go over 21, at which point you lose. Um, or you can just stand at whatever number you want, and then the dealer plays. And whoever has the higher number at that point wins. Uh, so we need, we're going to be asking the person if they want to hit or stand. At that point, they're going to put an H in for a hit or S for a stand. So we need a character. And we'll call it, uh, we'll call it I for input. And let's see, we need a int for the player sum. So, I think that's enough to, to, to get started here. So, again, that's, let's not worry about the game looping over and over. Let's just deal with the player getting um, his hands, his cards, and ask him if, if he or she wants to hit or stand and go from there. And part two, we'll deal with the dealer tomorrow. So, let's create two random integers to represent the cards and it's going to be from 1 to 10 of course in the real game too there's a, the face cards are worth 10 and there's a lot more of those so the chances of getting 10 is greater but again this is a simplified version of the game all right so i have my cards and we're going to say p sum equals C1 plus C2. So the player has their first two cards. And they're going to make a decision. Do they want to stand and risk whatever they're at against the dealer? Or they can they can get more uh, another card and add it to that sum. So we want to see out. Would you like to hit and we'll put an H in there or stand and 
and if they want to stand, they'll put the an S. And we want to see in I. Now, again, they might not, we don't know how many times they're going to want to hit, get a card. They can get a card over and over again. So we know we're going to loop something. We don't know how many times we're going to loop. Let's do a while loop. So while C, while I equals the character H. And while the character does e equal H, right, we're going to create another card. And we'll just say in C for this one. A number from 1 to 10. And we're going to add that to the P sum. So P sum equals the old P sum plus this card C. All right, so we don't want to ask the player to hit or stand yet because if they get more than 21 at this point, right, we're not going to, they're going to lose. So we want to check if P sum is greater than 21, right? We're going to break immediately. And actually, we can say you'd lose, okay? Because they, they lose right away if they, you lost, right? And according to this, a hand is worth 10 bucks. So if they lost, we're going to take money from the bank. We're going to say bank equals bank minus 10, right? They lost 10 bucks. And we're going to break out of this loop, right? The break statement breaks out of the out of this loop right here because we don't want to continue right and if not right we're going to ask again would you like to hit or stand so we can copy this line c in that i And there we go. And we can also let them know, see out your sum is P sum. Your sum is P sum. And actually, we probably want to write that here, right here. See out. Your sum is P sum. And I'll end L. Because the player is going to want to know what the sum is without having to do it in his mind every time. All right. So, um, the player has their hand. They either lost at this point, or they're ready to play the dealer after this. And what we can do now is say if if the P sum is less than or equal to 21, right? We don't want to have the dealer play if they don't have to. In other words, if the player lost by getting over 21, the player, the dealer doesn't even have to play. So we're only going to have the dealer play if, I'm going to put some inline comments here. Um, dealer plays if players and is less than or equal to 21. And that's what the, that's going to be the dealer's play in here that we're going to work on tomorrow. 
So this is part one. Let's just take a look at, and I'll put a C out statement here. C out for now, dealer plays. Just to run this to see if we have any issues. All right, I have a bunch. Let's take a look at, looks like I have some chevrons that are bad. Usually when you get a ton of errors like this, you have chevrons. There it is, that C in right there. This guy. All right, so my sum is 11 to start. And that's a pretty good number to hit on. Let's put a question mark in here. So I'm gonna put H. Your sum is 16, right? Would you like to hit or stand? So I got five, 11 plus five is 16. And let's let's deal with this fact that this, this is coming right next to, this is all squished together. So your sum is 16, that's endel right here. Makes, makes it look better. All right, let's stop and run again. Your sum is 12, would you like to hit or stand? Well, I'm going to hit on that one. In, in real blackjack, it's it's tough to get a 12 because the chances of getting a 10 are much higher because there's more face cards. But this is not. This is our own, ver own version. So I'm going to hit on 21. Your sum is 21. Now, in real life, I want to stand because that's a good number to have. So I'm going to put S, stand, and it should say dealer plays. Good. So we're good in that situation. Let's make it so we lose and go over 21. So I'm going to hit. Sum is 9, hit. Sum is 15, hit. Sum is 19. Uh, 19 is a good number to stand on, but I want to make sure that, that my loss works. Your sum is 28, so I lost, and that's good. And uh, we probably want to output the money that the person has, but we can do that later. So we're good. We're good with the with the player's hand. Tomorrow we'll do part two, and that's going to be dealing with the uh, with the dealer's hand.